We're now entering room two. This room is where all the vendors are. This first table is Niels and Debbie Matheson, and you hear me talk about them all the time. They are the classic nib. They've got all different colored inks. They've got the uh, cleaning fluid or the pin flush. They've got the Instaset. Uh, this is the activator back here and the super gold uh, glue. They got the CA thin, thick. They've got quite a few pin kits, but I can tell you that these bins are empty compared to the way they were this morning. Lots of pins. They also have the Termaclean Center bushings, and I like their bushings because they not only have the 60 degree cone in them for uh, the dead center and the live center, but they've also got the pass through hole. So if you want to put them on your mandrel, which is what I do after I turn them, I slide them on the mandrel to buff them so I can hold them. I really like that design of the uh, term between center bushings. They're selling the Zona paper now. They've got the Abranet. We got the micro mesh, the micro mesh pads. These are, they got the vertebrae blanks for the juniors. They got the Francisco Santana blanks. These are incredible. He's quite an artist. Blanks are gorgeous. Got dyed deer antler. We got some deer antler hybrid blanks, resin and deer antler. Quite a few label cast blanks there, as well as some resin blanks. And they've got a huge selection of turn between center blanks. I'm with Divine Island Designs. They've got a really nice line of blanks. I'll show you some more here in a second. They have their own line of liquid pigments for casting. Just about every color you can imagine. They actually have a, uh, a full pack here. You can buy one of each. They're doing all types of jewelry. It is shells and starfish and other items cast in resin. These are, we've got some pendants, we've got some earrings, just like a bracelet here. Uh, I believe uh, he called them the Panama and the Bohemian collection. One of their specialties are these seashore blanks. Aren't they beautiful? It's really hard to see through the plastic bag. They've got them in some of the major pen sizes. Let me show you. Here's a finished one right up here on the table. Take a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's called the seashore blank. There's actually shells in it. Looks like sand. Looks like water. That's beautiful. They have a few hybrid gator jaw blanks left. As we move across the table, they have a ton of resin cast blanks. Aren't these beautiful? And these are all made with their liquid pigment. Let's take a look at one of these. This is what these blanks look like once turned. Isn't that beautiful? Get a little closer look at one of these. And that is Divine Island Designs. I'm with Against the Grain. Take a look at this. They've got some beautiful resin blanks. Lots and lots of bottle stopper blanks, both the square and the round. Here's a few more resin blanks up front. Here's a couple of examples of some of their blanks, how they look once turned. These look more like, these are Christmas ornaments here. There's a kaleidoscope. Isn't that beautiful? I want to show you some of their blanks. Now, last year, uh, they were in partnership with Jason Rose on a table, or not last year, at the Augusta show, and I thought this was something new Jason Rose did, but this is not. This, this is their own design. These are fishing blanks, and they fit the bolt-action pins. They have them for the Juniors, and they have them for the Sierras, and basically, they have wrapped, that is, that is fly fishing line wrapped around the blank, and they've got a hook on there, and they've cast them in resin, and on top and bottom of the blank is deer antler. So this is a sportsman's blank, and I was looking to show you guys, there were a couple of spoon blanks, uh, but it looks like we may have sold them all. He's also doing some gorgeous, look at these watch part blanks, aren't these beautiful? Got them for the Sierra, 
Let me get that a little lower. And here's one. This is now this is carbon fiber, but that's a spoon blank or a spoon in that blank with with fish hooks. So if you have a fisherman, these are great. You got a lot of watch part blanks. And uh, these are really neat. These are seam ripper blanks. If you have a seamstress or a quilter, this is thread and it's got a needle in there and there's wood on either end to cap it off. And this is this is built for seam rippers. He has some smaller ones that are built for pens. If you think your seamstress would rather have a pen, these are gorgeous. And I can tell you that there were a bunch more of these this morning. These have been selling really well. They're very popular. And any of you guys who are into fishing or have someone who is into sewing, these blanks are for you. I want to show you this one pen. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Very meticulously done. These are beautiful blanks. This is T. Shadow and Company's booth. He's got the little laser here that you can engrave. I don't know much about this or the pricing on it. You'll have to contact him for that. Um, I've seen him engrave a couple of blanks. It's really amazing. He also sells the Magic Skews. Now you've seen me use, I have this one here. You've seen me use that a number of times in my shop. I really like the tool. It works well. You can get additional tools for them, tool posts. And he's got cutters. He's got the small handles. He's got the larger handles. These are kind of neat. I need to pick a set of these up. These you put on your lathe between the headstock and the chuck, and it keeps your chuck from sealing down on your on your lathe. He's got turn between center bushings. He's got the Abernet. Got some beautiful blanks here. Little carbon fiber. Got the autism blanks. These are label wrap blanks. He's got the uh, blanks for the masons. A couple of watch part blanks. Watch part blanks are beautiful. We've seen a lot of them this year. Many, many of the folks here are doing watch part blanks. Barbell bags. Um, I'm going to have to ask him what those are for. We've got a tool holder. All types of stuff. He sells the Mercury Flex glue, or the Mercury Adhesives glue. We've got the dispensers for the micro mesh pads. We've got a mercury adhesive epoxy. We've got the activator for it. Plenty of tools, all kinds of tools. This is nice. If you're making a watch part blank, this will hold your blank so that you can get everything glued up. These are the uh, blank cutters that allow you to set these and cut a blank to the exact size. We've got some blank drilling vices back here. These are dapping blocks. You use these for making the, um, the uh, watch part pins. He also has a wooden one here. Taking a look at Lone Star Resin Works, look at these. He makes some incredible hybrid blanks. We've got the aluminum honeycomb with the resin and the wood. He just makes some beautiful blanks. We've got some burl over here. These are all stabilized burl, stabilized and dyed. Look at some of these blanks. Aren't they beautiful? This is Crafts by Gabe. Take a look at some of these burls he's got and these Bansikia pods. I think that's how you pronounce those. Absolutely gorgeous wood. Look at that. It's like Buckeye burl. Isn't that beautiful? Got some deer handling. And look at this. This guy is doing so well, he's giving away stacks of $100 bills. We have a bunch of dyed pearl pieces. These are ready for stabilizing. If you're interested in doing any stabilizing, just about any color you can imagine. Thank you.
I already put one in the bag. I believe all the burl is dyed and stabilized. Yes. Too, but I've got 300 stickers that are on my kitchen island. So you know, yeah. I appreciate you. This is the Caster's Choice booth. They've got all of their mica powders. You can get powders in pretty much any color you can imagine. I'm here at Fred and Tina Wisson's booth. They own P-Town Subby. They've got all types of casting supplies. Fred specializes in his molds. He also does a lot of work with labor casting. Got molds for just about anything you can imagine. This is a this is a tray for inside your pressure pot. These are the little plexiglass windows, so if you want to do label blanks, they help you cut the uh, blank to the exact size uh, for your tube. As we work our way down this way, Fred has quite a few pins, different pin blanks for, or pin kits for sale. We've got some blanks. These are some of the 3D printed blanks with resin cast into them. A lot of miscellaneous blanks. Got some more resin. His wife Tina does all of these beautiful clay, polymer clay blanks. Look at the ornament, isn't that beautiful? They got some abalone. All different types of blanks up here, aren't they beautiful? I'm at Turner's Warehouse with Chad Schimmel. He's got lots of cast blanks for turning. Got some bottle stopper blanks. Looks like some paracord stuff back there. These are kind of like a hybrid blank. Looks like they've got uh, maybe a pine cone. Well, actually, that's Choya. That's Choya in those blanks. These are really cool. Chad does these pencil blanks, colored pencil blanks. I've got a couple of these. I need to get them turned. He's got some of these Junior Emperor kits, which are really nice. The Junior Duke. Now this is a really cool kit. It's got a lot of mass to it. Really nice kit. I hate to show these empty boxes, but it has been a busy weekend. And uh, it's been a great weekend. All of these items are available on his website, which will be linked in the description below. These are the ultra sheer pin mills. These are really nice. They come in a great case to keep everything together. Looks like it's carbide. He's got the Abernet. Of course, you've seen me use the Zona paper. Chad specializes, or specializes, he sells or distributes the Mercury Flex. He's got some easy wood turning tools available. He sells the pin milling jig. The, I use one of these in my shop all the time for cutting jigs to length. He's also got the Mercury adhesive. This is the uh, accelerator. And he's got some nice little kits here which come with the accelerator, the Mercury, and it's got the uh, Abernet for getting started finishing. I almost missed this because it was at the end of the table, but Chad has the Jim Hines tenoning, um, tenoning tool. You've seen me use this in some of my videos. He also has Jim Hines' mandrels for turning kitless pins. So if you need these, they will be on his website next week. And then he's got these nice, little, look at this, if you want to get into doing the watch part blanks, he's got these nice little kits. And actually this one's kind of neat. It comes with the carbon fiber, and basically you can put that on the tube, and then it's got the tool here to help you position all of your parts. And there's a very nice uh, assortment of parts in there to get you started turning uh, watch part pins.